Hello, beautiful people. You are welcome to the TDJ Show, Time with the Dr. Josephine. On today's episode, we are going to talk about vaginal infections. Yes, you heard me right, vaginal infection. Most women in their lifetime, about 95% of women would experience one or two episodes of vaginal infection in their life. So it's very important that we delve into such a topic. After that, we'll handle the men. Men, don't worry, we'll come to you very soon. So what is vaginal infection? Vaginal infection is simply an infection of the vagina. But some people, you know, are not sure exactly what a vagina is. When you open up your legs, women, what you see is not the vagina. That is what we call the vulva. Vagina is the hole. That is the best canal where the babies come for or the opening for sexual intercourse. In that opening or that tunnel is what we call the vagina. And any infection of that area is called vaginal infection. So you can have infection of just the vagina or it can involve the outer parts, that is the vulva. In that case, we call it the vulvovaginal infection or vulvovaginitis. So today we are narrowing down on that. We won't be able to finish everything. It will be in various series. So we'll take about three days to complete this vaginal infection. So now let's proceed. So what is an infection? When we talk about an infection, that means that microorganism, the bad microorganism that causes diseases has um, infiltrated that area. It can be a virus, it can be bacteria, it can be a parasite. Sometimes we can even have chemicals causing it. Now for today's topic, we are going to talk about one caused by another group of microorganism called the fungus. And this particular one is what people normally call candidiasis. So we are going to talk about one that we called candidiasis or vulvo, particularly vulvo vaginal candidiasis. The organism that causes it is not a bacteria or a virus, it's a fungus. And its name is called candida albicans. It causes about 98% of all candidiasis. So we are going to narrow down on candida albicans. Now, how does it look like? I mean, when you have candidiasis, the one that people popularly call white, how do you feel? Well, how do you know that this is white or this is candidiasis? Okay, so for this particular one, you know we have different forms of discharges, but for this particular one, you have a discharge that is whitish. It's like spalt milk or some form of cheese. It's very curdy and whitish. Usually, it doesn't smell. So if you have a smelly, you know, vagina, that is not usually not candida. But this one itches. So usually the vulva area can itch and the vaginal area can also itch. You remember I've already told you what the vulva is. When you open up your legs, what you see is a vulva. So some people have very itchy vulva, they'll keep itching. And because they keep itching, the place becomes, you know, inflamed. So it becomes red, it becomes sore. So sometimes you have pain and soreness of the vagina. It can go to the extent that when you pee, sometimes you can even feel some pain and sometimes a little bit of pain when you're having sex. But then the main thing is the discharge. On a few occasions, the discharge can be watery, but most of the time it is whitish. But remember, it doesn't smell. You realize that when people are pregnant, they have a lot of infections because the estrogen level goes up and it destroys the balance in the vagina. When people have diseases that brings their immune system down like HIV or other immunocompromised conditions, realize that it goes down. And then in people with diabetes, the immunity goes down so it increases the chances of you having the infection. Usually, the body has a balance on its own that protects the vagina. So you don't even need soap or any chemicals to clean your vagina. All you need is water because God has made it such that there are some natural things and chemicals in the vagina that cleans it and takes care of it. So anytime you interrupt it, you also make it easy for you to get an infection. So then when you take antibiotics indiscriminately, I mean use it unnecessarily not prescribed by your doctor, you kill the good bacteria. When you kill the good bacteria, you destroy the place. It makes it easy for candida to come in. So bad use of antibiotics can make you get candida. Now, the other way you can also get candida is when you douche. People use all sorts of fragrances, soap, chemicals to clean the vagina, my sister. You don't need all that to clean your vagina. All you need is water. So when you use these things, it can also make you get 
the infection. How do you avoid candidiasis? Avoid douching, avoid using soap, chemicals, and all those things. Like we said earlier on, avoid indiscriminate use of antibiotics. And it is also very easy to treat it. All you need is to see your doctor. They'll give you medication, which is very cheap, very affordable. Anyone can buy it, and then you get you treat it. Now, the other point is you can always pick it. Some people pick it from, um, you know, their toilet seats. Some people pick it because if you already have it and you've not handled your panties too, you can reinfect yourself. So you also have to make sure that you handle your panties very well. You can soak them in their towel oven and wash them, hang them under the sun or iron them when they are dry so that you can completely get rid of it. Or you can even change your panties altogether if you can afford it. And make sure that when you're using shared washrooms, make sure you clean and disinfect so that you don't pick up infections, my sister. Candida is not an STI. Candida, you don't get it when you have sex. Candida is about your lifestyle, it's about cleanliness, and it's about how you handle certain personal things like your panties, how you handle your... Um, your vaginal area, that is your, geni and your, your genital area, and how you do, you take care of yourself. It's not about sex. So my dear sisters, now we know what candida is, we know what can cause candida, and we know how we can treat. Just see your doctor. In case you are having repeated infection, we have another way we treat it. That one is more in-depth way of treating it because we have to give you the medication for a longer period in order to treat recurrence. When we mean we talk about recurrence, that means you're getting about four times in a year four or more times in a year when that happens to you that means that your therapy is a bit different so my dear sisters visit your nearest doctor let's get you treated and prevent it so that you don't get to have it again okay thank you but on our next series we'll be talking about another type of vaginal infection called bacterial vaginosis stay tuned don't miss any episode of the tdj show Hope you enjoyed this particular show. Now, before I leave, I would like to say a shout out to my family. They are mourning because we lost, I actually lost my sister on Sunday. Um, and we are having the funeral too very soon. My family is in a state of mourning. I would want to say, um, Dockers, rest in peace. I love you. Thank you.